Hey friends, time for another 3i Atlas Interstellar Object update. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to recap, if I can, from memory, the different scientific anomalies. Because what's happening today is October 27th, so in a couple of days on October 29th, it's going to be at perihelion, which is the closest it will be to the sun, assuming it continues on its current trajectory. But we can't see it because it's in an alignment, so Earth-Sun Atlas, uh, which means we're not able to observe it Earth direct. So some of the unique things, and this is in addition to all the remote viewing work that I've done and many other people have done, the scientific anomalies altogether make it a one in uh, one to the 26th chance that it's a natural origin. So one in a hundred quadrillion quadrillion chance that it's not artificial. And some of the leading physicists like Avi Loeb are coming out and saying, you know, they believe it's like a 30 or 40% chance that it's um, artificial. So uh, I'm sure maybe you've already thought about what you think, but here are some of the anomalies. One, the fact that it's traveling in 137,000 miles per hour, which codes the fine constant, which is a mathematical constant that governs uh, atomic level interactions, so chemical and physical interactions. Um, we talked about this from the very beginning, that it's traveling pretty much on the plane of the ecliptic, which is the plane that all of the planets are also in, and it's timed precisely to go by Mars. It went by Mars. It's going to go by Jupiter very close by. So that's a very low probability. Um, it's got an anti-tail, right? It's facing the sun. For a long time, it was facing the sun before it flipped directions. And the sun has been shown to be interacting with it, sending bursts of matter towards the object as the object moves. It's also just a massive object, the size of Manhattan, 33 billion tons. <laughs> Uh, there have been interesting lights and pulses coming off of it. So it seems to be off gassing in these sort of coded pulses, including what some people have interpreted as Fibonacci sequence pulses uh, sent on October 13th. So there's a lot of really interesting things. I'm sure I left a few out, but it'll be very exciting to see if it changes direction or if anything interesting happens on or around October 29th when it's at its closest to the sun if it's able to harness and use some of that sun's energy for any purposes, uh, that should give us an indication about what else it's going to do.